This is a post-mortem of the Penn Central. Long after the Consolidated Rail Corporation, Conrail for short, absorbed the Penn Central and six other railroads in the Northeast on April 1, 1976, many locomotives continued to ply the rails in Brunswick green paint or in the paint schemes of the Erie Lackawanna, Reading, Lehigh Valley, or other roads. Even as newly painted blue Conrail locomotives appeared here and there, the old power still held sway on the high iron, often with dark flanks after the Penn Central name had been painted over and with the CR initials stenciled on the nose where the interlocking PC emblem had once been. Freight equipment went through a similar metamorphosis as the newer cars were slowly repainted and the older rolling stock was replaced. This, then, is a very large railroad in transition, as Emery Goulash filmed the fading Penn Central giant during the late 1970s. The blue tide started slowly but firmly, as a locomotive in Conrail paint appeared here and there in a vast fleet of power in predecessor colors. With the Marathon Refinery as a backdrop, the southbound freight on the Junction Yard branch in Detroit has Conrail blue on the point as it leads two former Penn Central GP35s. The train passes the International Salt Mine. The train ducks under the towering Interstate 75 bridge as it approaches Ecorse Junction. There it will cross the Norfolk and Western ex-Wabash line to Delray Junction, 